Good afternoon. It's 5.08 p.m. on uh, t- uh, Wednesday, 26th of January. First of all, this is the first webinar we're doing on these weekly series that acts as also our chart uh, explanations for the PMT poll. So in a way, it's public. It is posted on the uh, our YouTube channel immediately after it's available, later on today. And it's still being in the morning, we're doing it at night. Why? We have a lot of people writing to us from the West Coast, or the left coast, telling us that uh, you can't get to this. It's way too early for them. This is not up at 5 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. So I said, well, you know what? For a couple of weeks, we'll do it on Thursday nights. I mean, Wednesday nights, middle of the week. And this way, uh, um, because in the morning, Wednesdays are... Our, our automatic trading system for NQ does not trade on Wednesdays by design. It's very, because it's an it's a ORB. It's an opening range breakout. But historically, where are the opening range? Big ones are Mondays and Fridays. Okay? With the only exception in the afternoon, this big day is FOMC. But that's the afternoon, not in the morning. Uh, why? Monday, m- merger Monday. Uh, could be problems over the weekend. Uh, Non-farm payroll. Uh, and also uh, 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 expression. Because of those, Fridays and Mondays are favored. As you go inside the week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, there's less active. Okay? Even though last Tuesday, I think we made five grand or four and a half grand on the position, on the 14,000 position. So it was a nice, very nice return. I haven't posted I'm at time. Uh, but Wednesdays, we have found that it's got an E of X of negative. That means expected return over a long period of time has been negative. So why do, why do you even bother trading? Now, we keep monitoring that. If that changes, we respond. By the way, I'm saying all of those. It's posted here. If you go to day trading, the charts are there, obviously. And this is the response so far. We need to update one link. We will. In a, in a, let's say this weekend or next week we do. But this is the returns of each uh, lead contract, okay, in great detail. It's an MHT file. You can open it and go through detail. You get basically these in there, but by month. I'm saying by contract, by contract, so every three months. We This is our 4.0, last of last week on 4.1. So, having said that, because we don't have early Wednesday morning uh, uh, getting set up for that trade, uh, Wednesday afternoon, this seems fine. Okay, otherwise, it would be a very, very long day. Okay, that's one. Two, uh, those of you who are in the, I want to include this for you guys reminded, those of you who are in the, uh, 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 oh, he's already changed that. He says that. Those of you on the day trading system, you see the link is showing? Because now it's available about night. Why is that? Because the Zoom for NQ is having problems. The machine has an issue. We're replacing it. But it won't be here until Monday, Tuesday. No, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So instead, we put them together. Actually, if you go there, you'll like it. It's a mix of uh, two different items, both OTF and uh, uh, DMZ side by side. Two OTF, one DMZ. We do that at nighttime. In the morning, we take the OTFs down. Because you have the big big machine here. This way you can really need to open, log into one. And, and we also made the link to be available 24-6. If you do this, you'll see it's available. It's not, before it used to go away after 5 p.m. and turn back on at 8 in the morning. Now it's available, so you can get in there. It is not attended at night, although I check to make sure it's running. It runs out of my home, so I can go to my uh, office and just home my home office and make sure it's good. And if I'm not around, there's always Admiral Tico. He watches over everything. He's the boss anyway. Right, Admiral? He's just sitting here with us right now listening. All right. Uh, if you're wondering who is Admiral Tico, uh, we may have a picture for you. Actually, if you get the PMT signals, you've probably seen many of his pictures because uh, he manages that product. There he is. This is what he, there he is with his duckies. There he is uh, with his Princeton outfit. And there he is on Sunday morning saying, Daddy, let's go for breakfast. Okay, that's Admiral Tico, nine and a half pounds, huge IQ. Smarter than most people. By, by the way, he's a recovering Trumpkin from Alabama. So, I mean, if he can be recovering, I expect most of them. Most of them are the one day to wake up and be recovering too. So, okay, let's move here. What do we do next? This is housekeeping. We're done with housekeeping. Next item, economic calendar. Well, 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 well. We had our venerable uh, Jerome Powell come in and torpedo all the gains we had made. I'm going to go to charts in a bit. But this press conference is one for the history books. Absolutely something else. Um, uh, I was up X amount. Okay. I was down 
one third of x. That means I lost the x plus one third now. Then I went up two x up. Almost I closed. I'm exhausted. All within the forty five minutes. Now at four three forty five, if you're no three fifteen, if you're in the chat room, you would see I was cursing at him, saying, Get off the soapbox. What are you doing? Now, problem is story with Kaplan. Robert Kaplan, who ran uh uh the, the Fed the, Dallas, like Rosengren, I believe is Boston, is it? Eric Rosengren, he's retired. I mean, they kicked him out. Yeah, Eric Rosengren were caught with their day trade. I mean, Kaplan was doing day trading in queues during the pandemic in between meetings and information and all that. This is this is too much. You can't have these guys trading stuff. I mean, don't you don't you have enough money? You you're in public service and you're doing that. Something's gotta happen on Congress. They gotta do this. Stock stuff away. You wanna play or you wanna trade OTF? Fine. Okay, but you can't go long and short stuff. Just like, uh, like what do they call it? CNBC anchors. They can't do stocks. They can only do ETFs. And I don't think they can do shorts. But uh, so you go flat. You go flat, okay? Why? Because the business are in, it could influence their own work. Hey, yeah, we have too much corruption in this country. We gotta fix it. Even though it's the best place in the world, we still have corruption. Okay, so this we're done. Uh, let's see, what was here that was of important to me? New home sales. Let's talk about that. I know it's history, but I just want to know what we did. Because I, this morning, we didn't get a chance to look. 811. The advice was 725. Because uh, it's 760. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right. By the way, I want the Fed to stop buying the long end. Okay? The QE has to stop. And slowly, they got to unload it. And then that will cool down to this stupid real estate we have. It's too high up. It's peak America. You know, we've got to get this thing. Uh, uh, it's you. It's you. It's, it's, audio is fine. Audio is fine. Uh, would you, uh, Kevin, would you answer questions like that? Thanks. It's you. Um, yeah, audio is fine. Audio is fine. Hold on. Hold on one second. Anybody having your audio problem, please let us know. And the rest of you do, you gotta get out and come back in. Yeah. As far as I as far as I can as far as I can tell. All right. Yeah. Kevin, you I need your help on this on this stuff, okay? Thanks. You should open the questions, you're gonna see it and then you can answer them. Thanks. All right, good. Now <clears throat> so tomorrow, what's go where go ahead? Durable goods and must to watch. Of course, GDP this is the fourth week, yeah. We had expression, this is the fourth week. Uh, GDP uh, uh, is a must, but first, durable goods are my favorites because these are large order capital orders. This is a good pulse of the economy, okay? Two and a half, consensus is negative half, oh boy. And look at that range, oof, oh boy. X transpiration is 0 0.8, 0 0.4, 0 0.1 core, 0 0.4, okay. That's gonna be an interesting one tomorrow. Be here early, guys. Those of you on the system side. GDP. Two point three. Consensus five point seven. Wow. I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean economy is not bad. It's okay, but we have a lot of pockets. We have issues. So three seven and seven one. Okay, that's a big range. That's a big rate, seven percent for this economy. Of course, remember, problem is the anchor, the, the uh, goalposts are down. Okay, goalposts are down. Uh, last year we had a disaster, uh, uh, and now you know we're, we're coming up to. I mean, not last year, twelve months ago. Now we had a disaster, and prior few months before that because of pandemic. Now that's wrong comparison, but it, it looks too good. Look, they're doing a good job. No, no, we're just recovering. We're coming back, rebounding. Personal consumption, PCE. This is a part that this is what uh, uh, Uncle Ben, Ben Bernanke used to look at. Two consensus, three range up to three seven. Okay, fine. Okay, I would look at. So I would look at durable because I would look at GDP. Jobless things, we have no choice. It shows up every Friday. It's like uh, 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 herpes never goes away. Uh, let's see. Uh, e ECI should be good to look at consumer sentiment, but more importantly, than all personal income. Let's see what that is. I would print these out or, or scan them. I mean, snap them, snap them. The data is the economy data. This one feeds all the other uh, systems. I mean, Bloomberg does not their own system. The, look at this stuff and they broadcast it. Uh, yeah, so this, I, I usually use just economy data. It's fast. Uh, it gets a little busy. 
when the number comes, you keep on hitting refresh, 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 like this. And there's no update because everybody else is refreshing. So uh, that's how that number comes. Um, another good one is the trade the news. That's a good one. Uh, also, Financial Juice has something. Hold on. On the here's one you could put on Twitter. You put on your Twitter. This one is good. Uh, breaking live at breaking live. This is for Financial Juice. The guys who do my do my buy and sell programs in the system up there. Uh, the that one is uh, 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 the sounds in the chat room. That one. Uh, there's the same company. This is pretty good too. A little bit too much because they are based on London. They put a lot of stuff from Europe in. I don't trade European markets. I don't know their uh, the way they their counting rules. I don't know how clean they are. I, I'm not getting into that. I just trade S and P 500 names uh, based on no, they have just a few. They're maybe top 15, top 20 tops. I want balance sheet, management, and products. If they're not good, it's not. I, I have no. I mean, it's a investment grade of the investment grade. Okay, that kind of stuff. But this is one you should also keep watching. Good thing of tweak tech is that you could separate them. Uh, also, one more reminder, folks in uh, the system area, make sure you're following this one. You have to be. You have to be in our package. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Is this the one? How do I get there? No, no. Is this the one? No, that's not there. I'm gonna go here. This one. The the two. This is F18 East. That's peeling off. That one. Okay. Why? Because we put a lot of our premium stuff there. Also, it's our backup calm channel. If something goes wrong, we're going to get all of you there. There's no time to email you. What if your emails are down? Uh, and you can't, there's no time for you to join. You better join now uh, as a member. We'll make sure you're registered. Uh, let me show you one more time for registration what you need on the uh, Twitter. You, when you go in here, for example, uh, there's a, I'm not going to open it. It's going to review my account. Uh, but this one takes you there, actually. If you click that, Profile your server. I'm not going to click it because it's show, show my password. You click on this and you go, and we did one webinar. Everybody saw my password. I had to go, jump in and cancel the password because that's a super user password. Go in there and enter your handle. Handle in Twitter is your, the, it's not the name on top per, per se. It's, uh, it's the one that has the at in it. So if, for this case, for example, if I go here, it's not MZ Alex, it's this one. This is the handle. Make sure this handle we have, okay? Because that has to be unique. We go by unique stuff, like unique email, unique Twitter. Okay? Yeah, we digress a little bit there. All right. I don't have next week's, but next week is the first uh, of the month uh, with uh, uh, with uh, non-farm being on Friday, the other four. So that's going to be fun. Uh, first is the 50th year I entered the U.S. I remember that. At uh, Dallas International Diplomatic Reception Area. And oh, it, it, it's been one hell of a journey. But uh, I may take it easy that day. Uh, every day, every year I do, sometimes we launch new products on that day. We celebrate that day, February 1st. Fourth is a non farm payroll. It's going to be a big day. Third, probably, is going to be, um, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, suspended animation. We shall see. Now, these days we haven't had that. These markets are wild. Look at the ATR. Today, the ATR, average true range, was over 100. Over 100. That means you had 100, it had a chance to go up or down 100 uh, handles. Not a joke. That means you're basically coming in into a soup. You're mostly likely going to lose, and uh, uh, you will know what happened to you. It's going to happen so fast. Those are the days you need to sit back. Thank God the system did not give a signal. Uh, and that was good. It was a little bit chaotic. Uh, sometimes on the system, I jump in afterward. Okay. Having said that, let's get to charts. Part two, uh, PMT, market timing charts. Sorry, guys, I'm hardly dehydrated because I've been yelling at the top of my lungs at the Chairman Powell for all the nonsense that was put out. I don't know who does her, uh, who's the MC. For the questions, they keep on pounding him at the wrong time. This is the wrong time when you're down here to have tough questions because he could turn around and we'll be at four, 400, I mean 4,000. And if that goes, we could be here. Uh, hold on. 33. That's a 200 weekly. 200 weekly. We could be there. I had a big discussion last night with one of the guys I know. It was very high up at UP, uh, UBS on the West Coast. And he says, yeah, he says, if things go wrong, Ferry. We're going to be at 3,500 in a hurry. Because those guys go 
big numbers, okay? I'm looking by charts and data and uh, what do you call it? Into uh, indicators that I came into look at this while I was talking to him. I said, "Yeah, mine's at three three five zero," and he became quiet. He came back, "What? Yours is that?" I said, "Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to go there. It takes you quite a bit to go there. But if if Putin goes to Ukraine, that's what's going to happen." Okay, I don't buy this nonsense that in the if the previous administration would have continued, this wouldn't happen. No, no, Putin would have done it. As a matter of fact, we would have probably handed him to Ukraine. Trump was a Russian asset. He had a handler. Come on, guys. We didn't vote for Biden. We just didn't want to vote for Trump because we couldn't repeat the chaos that he created. So having said that, let's move forward. Let's think positive. Hopefully, uh, Putin comes to his senses and doesn't do anything because for a single economy and in the commodity business called oil, you can really go backwards. You know, their economy is bigger than Italy, is smaller than Italy. They can really go backward for generations. He doesn't understand it. But he's an old uh, oligarch in the end of his time, and he's stolen too much money, and he's just willing to do anything he wants. So here's another thief, another thug. Thug, I'm sorry. Time of Digest. Okay, by the way, Time of Digest is not publishing. So we're getting their emails. They're confirming our signals that, yeah, you're long, you're short, but they're not giving us any uh, ranking. Their website is down, actually. If you go to their website, uh, uh, let's see. Hold on. Where is it? Uh, where is this thing? Hold on. Here, if you go here, we always have them down here. That's our footers. These are our footers. You hit that. I mean, they haven't even paid their fee for the DNS. They have lost the DNS. Look at it. nothing is. Well, it shows up in a second. It shows like the this, the the handle the URLs for sale. I don't know what they're doing, but and they're not publishing anything. I know they had data issues. But this far, it's only over a year now. Last time I had data issues, it took me about a month, and I resolved it by changing vendor, writing a new code, and get going. So, hey, look, look, it's not even coming up. Anyhow, let's close that. All right. So, oh, on PMT, I want to make sure you guys understand. We dropped on our prices. We did. It was going too much. The data, I mean, we're doing, we were doing very good. Still are, but we're doing really good here. And it just it didn't make sense. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, price people out. So we said we're going to go to quarterly only, not monthly or yearly or that. Hundred for the pro, seventy for the uh, uh, market timing, payable three months in a row. Three hundred and two twenty, two ten. Okay, I think it's a fairly decent price. Under, I mean, over, undervalued. That's what I want to do, and over, over, over deliver, under promise and over deliver, and the system is good now. I would remind you also, starting next week, when it, once this new machine comes in, I get the machine to swap. I'll start on what I call uh, uh, PMT week. Remember? Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, infrastructure week every year. Every, every week we had last four years. Okay, well, we're going to have PMT week. But it won't be four years. And it won't be four months, but probably be a month. It'll take time. Why? Our archives are behind. My apologies. You know why? Because we created... We created this. Listen, somebody had to give. If you look at what we did for our options, hold on. I'm digressing here. This stuff. Okay, this is what we did on the. This is what we did. This is our masterwork, if you think about it. The, the, taking the DMZ concept and putting it on Excel so we can get our bull and bear levels. Okay? Uh, uh, and then we listen to our option package. You can take a look. There's webinars there. We did that. Then we did the option package. We actually launched that. That's two. Three. Uh, I'm sorry. This is actually the code. This is also a chart for it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on one second. This is the chart for it. See? This is the chart. This is what we do for the uh, Twitter. I mean, for the uh, NQ training. Started here. We just did this first. Then we did. Then we do it, digitize it into Excel. And then we launched it, relaunched the option product because the German was running it. Just couldn't make sense of what I've done. I said, I'll do it myself. I trained Nancy, now she's backing me. And then Peter helped it. Once we did that, I said, well, I, I, I asked a stupid question. Why can't we do it for futures? And that began our journey starting like August 16. And it's been nonstop. A victim of that, of concentrating so much on one product. Remember, this is by CI. We've had the CI on for since 2002, January. Since February of 2002, it has been subscribed. We have one gentleman in Boston has not canceled the subscription. 
It's 20 years now. 20 years, yeah. And we haven't changed his price either. We haven't. We offered, we added a lot more stuff, but he's a good friend and he's uh, uh, very few are from that, that era, you know, a few, maybe a couple of years later. But he goes back to February 2002. Uh, first guy to sign up. And in the summer of that year, he found the bottom, by the way. Using this, he said, hey, your system says the bottom is here, which was like August. You go back based on what? Uh, not Amazon, but Google, Microsoft, uh, a couple of other names. He saw that using that, it says, hey, I think the low is behind us was, is coming. Even though we went to war with Saddam, he had Gulf War II, that ch- chart held. So he's been with us that. Now, that has nine lines of code. The reason I bring this up has nine lines of code in easy language. Okay? The system that we worked on since August 16th, we just issued last week 4.1, the first release to the production copy. You know, one, 1.0 was the be- alpha, 2.0 was beta using the chat room for free for about three months. 3.0 was used in the chat room only as a production, and 4.0 was the elite package where they could run it yourself. That has been going on since uh, November. Having done that, we got behind. So if you go here into PMT, and remember, this is a PMT webinar. If you go to PMT Pro and you go to archives, uh, if you go back at parts of late, mid 2021 and forward, these are, there are some holes in it. The, the trades are there, but let's say email from, uh, let's say email from uh, 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 our update to this is missing, for example, this, which is the time and date of the email to time adjust, digest, which you get a copy, but we want to put it here. So it's an archive of what we did. All right. So having said that, we're going to go back and clean them up, but we've just got to get there. And for my priority, again, always is the, first, the most expensive package we have. And that's got a little snafu in it called the a Zoom uh, NQ. We got to get that fixed. At least I put some band-aids on it until next week, change the computer, and then go into this. So that's my apologies, and this is my reason. Let's go to time and chart, start the charts. Okay. We came in pretty hard on Monday. As you know, on Thursday and Friday, on Twitter, our open feed Twitter, at MZ Analytics, we posted some charts. We gave you one of these, okay, like this, for example. Yeah, like this, okay, each day. And, and some analysis. We gave you SP1 Momo. We talked about what this was doing, okay? We gave you uh, Vic saying, this I put yesterday on, that it went through four sigma. Because I had said, I don't see four sigma. If it doesn't four sigma, because historically that was a turnaround, the turnaround isn't here yet. But you never go with one indicator. There are a bunch of other stuff involved here. So we gave you that. We did not give you SQ. Oh, we gave you SP2. Look, it's hammered. It's hammered. I mean, this is not a good situation. Down here, we were at zero. The stock market starts at zero. You see a flat line? And, of course, these were positive. When was the last time you saw this positive? The spread, the 90-day spread of the lead month, which is now February. So it's G22. So we're long G22, short J. Is it J? No, K. I'm sorry. Short K. What happened to K here? Murray, what are you doing to me? There we go. Short K, okay? Of course, that's June. It's not there yet. It's coming up. This is a term structure, okay, of uh, VIX. And still, look at it. The front one is high, higher than the other ones. That's not good. This is normal. Well, that's, none of it is good. I'm sorry. The whole thing is up, uh, inverted. Yeah, yeah. The whole, Jesus. The whole term structure is inverted. So we're still out of the woods now. This wasn't this bad this morning. This fat. Fed presser was a disaster. And look how we popped. This was coming down. The more it comes down, it becomes more than we're heading up. We completely reversed that. Look at what happened, the presser. Anyhow. So those we were posting, what we said, we could be a near launch pad mode. We've defined that in our terminology page. When we get below uh, 300 uh, negative, uh, we have seen 370. I had two Thanksgivings back to back. It was like 380 negative. And guess what? Next four days, with a thousand points on the S and P, on, NAS, uh, on the Dow, hundred points on S and P, and yours truly throwing the call for, call spread, and we killed it. We killed it. Hoping to get one of those, but I don't know yet. I'll, I'll make my, I'll make up my mind today. What I'm going to do for tomorrow. I sent you a note this morning. I said 
all other things being equal, set us paribus. We would want to launch a code. Uh, we launched another call spread today. We are underwater on our call spread, but we were stopped out. Remember, we got stopped out. We're going to attempt again. When, when the vols go too high, I am not going to send you an option trade. You know why? We're paying so much for it. Even though it starts going our way, we're going to pay back at the vol expense. Does that make sense? Is that clear with everybody? If the walls are too high, okay, and uh, we go through uh, the tremendous uh, uh, effort to put a call spread on, and we may hit the bottom. We may pin the bottom properly. But as we come up, the, 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 the price we paid, it gets shaved off by the volatility decreasing, even though X minus S goes in our favor. X minus S is a key part of uh, uh, backstroke model. So if that goes in our favor, but volatility is eroding, it's shaving off the premium, you win and you lose. Doesn't make sense. So we stop. Well, we give you targets and we give you uh, price. Now, obviously, our short, long price was bad, long target. It got stopped out. But given how fast we were dropping, there was no point even going short. We said, wait, let it get to a flush. We continue our long, or we give you a new trade. That day has come. I think we can do it probably tomorrow. Uh, I got to see what the tonight stuff is. Obviously, I did not expect what happened with the presser. And he was doing fine at the beginning. He it it came dovish in his statement. Market was doing okay until we got to Kaplan. You know, we had a couple of moves shake up and down, but nothing until Kaplan. Once they started about the stock trading, the whole thing went crazy. We lost it. Okay. Look, I've never seen a 28 on uh, Brett Trust. Are you telling me that, that, that these uh, fine... U.S. companies and technologies are valueless? No. But I think the multiples were too high. What did I talk about Peak America? I said real estate, uh, jobs, uh, markets, PEs, however you want to look at it, too high. So we're going to shave some of that, and we have. And we will. We have to. It's a affordability issue, too, on the real estate. So I said that it still remains a seller, seller uh, uh, market. I wouldn't go buy anything here. I would buy probably two years from now where it, it, it gets adjusted. I, I don't think it's going to get beaten up uh, because payrolls will be better. It takes you know, payrolls to pay mortgages, but at least the fluff will go away. The multiples will go away and we get more realistic, more affordable. And to me, real estate is not an investment. To me, it's just a utility. The roof over your head. That's all. Uh, uh, because if you can make the money, we can make on futures as a, as a daily return. Why do you want to have in real estate? The money that the yield will pay you in one year, you can do it in one day in futures if you know what you're doing. Let's go to the trender. Okay, this is another interesting one. Do you see anything unusual here? Negative, 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 negative. Prognosis negative. Remember that? Boom, boom. Okay, this is when you're at the bottom. When all of these, all the 50 day the trender, that is price minus 50 or price minus 200, which is the bottom up. Or the 200 detender. These are a negative. We're done. We're done. It doesn't go too far. Now, March of 2020, uh, 20, it did shift that far a little bit, but it came back. So it doesn't stay there very long. So we 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 prime in this chart too. Uh, what is this used for? Mainly asset managers, large monies, and so forth. By the way, this is an unusual chart. This was a one. I had, I've been verified. We verified data is not a problem. But I think one of the components had a very unusual day. It could be uh, FedEx, could be uh, uh, Burlington Northern, or, or maybe that's p private now. I don't know. Uh, it could be UPS. Uh, one of these names went up crazy in transportation that you have a, such a high reading and never closed that because of how, what a move it was. But, you know, so far nobody has reported the change. They all shot on that as a high, that 18,426. Uh, 18, we're coming back to 200 day. We did not close above it. I want to see a close above it. I want to see a close above 200 on Russell, but I don't think we're going to see it for a while. If that, we don't that, this is not going to go there either. But look what Tesla is. It took some pressure off. It's got to clean. The system will clean itself. The system is bright. To let it be, in aggregate, it will clean itself. Not just in finance, but in general. Let's do one more. Okay. These are two mechanical systems. They are not adjustable. Not by design, but by policy. Of course, you can adjust them. But why would you? 
You want a system that tells you what you should be doing. Look at that short. Long term, it's still long, but it could get into trouble. That, let's see, it did. Now, there was a delay there and there was no continuation. That's the problem with the weekly. Even though that was a 38% price, by the time it triggered, it was torn down. So it was inverted. Where sometimes this does. You, you see what I'm saying? Sometimes this thing triggers a little bit too close to the bottom. Look at that. Okay? So why? Because of the oscillation of two lines. So by themselves alone, it's not good. Some of you guys have written to me. Why did you pick the long? Or short? Go to your system. Systems as that. My system is preponderance of evidence of all these charts. It's not one chart. If you want to trade with one chart, good luck. You're not going to be around very much. Here's my suggestion. Go to uber.com and start the app. Because you're not going to be trading very long. Okay? Have a backup system called Uber. You cannot go with one uh, indicator. I haven't found one indicator that works. That's good all the time. All these years. And if I haven't found it, I've traded about 10,500 traders here. Another four, 600, four to 600, maybe, maybe 500 or Sinclair as a user group in LA for 10 years. I've seen and come and go many, many traders. Nobody has had one indicator. It's a combination of all. I like it to think of it as a civil case or a criminal case. It's not a beyond a reasonable doubt. It's a preponderance of evidence. And so I go through all these charts, all these exercises to see what the total picture is, what contribution each one is. Because that's what I think works for me. And at the end of the day, you want a captain with a little white hair in the cockpit. You're not going to fly 747 with no cockpit or black box. It's not going to happen. At the end of the day, you need somebody with experience. You can't find it in a code. You cannot find it in an MBA program or any book. The experience has to be earned, like Admiral Esposito. He was my mentor in 2008. What I learned from him in options, I couldn't find anywhere else. Even though I used to teach with uh, Larry McMillan. Another great option, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, affectionado and uh, a high priest of our business. Well, you didn't trade with Admiral Esposito, traded. Admiral, uh, I've run Admiral Esposito's run, runs that OCC, Option Clearing for Corporation. You all have it. If you request it, they give it to you. If you've traded options, there's a record of what you've done over there. They can only use it to you, nobody else, for privacy. Eight million dollars cash. 100 to 1 leverage because it was a DPM. There's a primary market maker. DPM. $800 million in options. Do you know what this would trade? $800 million in options? Do you understand what kind of IQ you need to stay float, not lose it, and stay uh, 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 ahead of the game? It was a DPM for pharmaceuticals. You know, the, the, the biggest stock was uh, Merck, MRK. Uh, at that time, it was running about 250, 240. Typical position he had was anything between 20,000 to 25,000 contracts. At 100 shares, you can see what that means. Huge, huge no so. Um, and he, you got to understand the smileys, you know, the payoff curves. If you, don't, if you didn't get the payoff curves from Admiral, um, he would do it by hand, but back then there was no computers. I mean, right now, even now, he gives me, a, we, we test each other, okay? He gives me a trade he's looking at. I come in here, put the option. Uh, a station pro on, try to see what the smiley looks like. What's the payoff curve? Well, he does it by hand. So this, this should be the answer for you. What do you think? We bring it up here, the machine matches says. How he does it in his head, I don't know. To me, Admiral Esposito is seven sigma event, not six, seven. Very rare animal. Now, he's a Roman. Okay, he's a Roman. He's from Chicago. Okay, he's from Chicago. But at least he's, he's not a Trump kid. He's a, he's a, 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 what do you call it? He's a, a, a legacy GOP. Yeah, so. Anyway, we have fun. I learned a lot from him. I really did. It's, I really look up to him as my mentor on options. And uh, as much as I teach him on futures, he has taught me 10 times as much on options. Uh, because I don't know much about futures, but he knows a lot about options. Anyhow, VIX went through four sigma and up. This happened on Monday. So as of Friday, when we were here, I'm scratching my head in the chat room saying, guys, what? What do you mean it's at 30? What does that mean? What is that? Why is it making it so ex exciting? Well, remember, you got to measure these against themselves. Against themselves. How do you do that? You use another vault layer. So it's a vault of the vaults. Let's take it this way. So we're measuring the volatility of volatility index. Look where it hits four sigma. Boom. The climate's to stock. Look how many here. It pulls up. It flushes itself up and pulls up. Look here. You look, we did not see that on Friday, even though it was expression. It came on Monday. Now, why? 
We're 1,000 points down, remember, on the Dow? Now, so we come back. That is a reversal. Look at this bar. And then yesterday we went crazy, and today we lost it. So that's uh, – we'll see. I mean, this, this, is a, this is a war zone. Please bet small. Please. And lose your bias. Today doesn't work. Get out. One mistake this afternoon I did, uh, about 3 o'clock, was that I trade all day today with stops. I was so nervous. That was one trade I didn't put the stop on. And it almost took all my uh, winning out and slightly, and I'm sorry, and also slightly more. I, I think it was one account I was still positive, but the other ones were at or below the gain for the day. I was getting fed up, and it wouldn't stop. They would keep on asking about Kaplan and uh, Rosengren, and he keep on answering and just boom, boom, going on. Anyhow, I apologize to the people in the chat room. I didn't use any phone there, but I was yelling, I was upset, and was angry. And it made me uh, exhausted. Anyhow, this is VIX, VXN. By the way, I post a chart like this. I moved them around, so I have VX and VXN next to each other, because then you can do it, two of them in one shot and post it. Crucial to see what's going on. This is ES, this is NQ, in terms of that, what's important. RVX is Russell. Obviously, Russell has a big input on what happens on uh, VIX going forward. OVX, eh, it's crude, but they're not using, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they're not, oh, this should be, oh, gee, that should be H. Murray, we made a mistake, one second. Hold on, Murray. This should be uh, H contract. We have, we have, G doesn't trade. G uh, G's in delivery, so. Yeah, because we're starting February, so you have to trade March right now. So. Remember, commodity deliveries are one 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 month net back. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's where we are. Yeah. Let me save this before I forget. Guys, I walk around with notepads in my hand. That reminds me of what I need to do. You have no idea how time bankrupt I am. SQ. Okay. And it's just the beginning. I have a couple of opportunities in front of me, and I it just tantalizing to do. Uh, one of them is a major, major firm. And it's just, uh, it also scares me. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, again, ORB is not a simple problem. If you can solve it, the whole world will focus on you. Uh, okay. All right. Let's talk about SP2. SP2 used to be, let me do this. You see, you see SP2? Yeah. Here, we went to uh, September of last year. We went to it wasn't too bad we recovered. Here now we're recovering. Our last big day on the upside was December. Take a look, look at it. Last big day that was on the upside was this has been negative. That's not good. And we're at nine. I mean, you know, 24, 22. I don't know what this level is here. Hold on. This is 16. Okay, we're at nine. I mean, this is one of my best timing tool since uh, 98, I believe, uh, 1998. We, the only thing we changed was the color. Be able to do coloring, more visual, green on the bottom, red on top. But this is this this is very ominous. This is not comforting. But that's where we are now. Now, will it snap back? If it does, we're really going, because this is very sensitive at the extremes. Look at what it went up there. This was uh, 93 half. And that's rare, too. You don't see that much. And so, oh, let me go to the skew. I'm sorry, we missed the skew. Okay, let me talk about the skew. This is all-time high skew, 170. As you know, the range is 100, not below this, below this all-time low, and 150. That's a design limit. I was not part of the design, but I was part of it testing after the design came out uh, from SIBO. Uh, some of the best guys at SIBO worked on this on volatility side. Now, I highly recommend you drink uh, pomegranate juice during trading. It's very good for you. But no sugar added. It has some sugar added. You don't need that. Best ones are from Azerbaijan or from Turkey. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, okay. Look at that peak. It came in at... Uh, uh, <laughs> no, it came in at 156. So above the design limit. So again, we measure it against itself, so it's Sigma channels. You can build those your, yourself. These are Bollinger bands. Plus two, negative two, and center as zero. I've added, not just added, I added the rules, the trading rules. 
for one, three, and four. Okay. Now, when it, this peaked, it said to me they're buying. What does this mean? This is it. Uh, this is the tail risk of uh, SPX as defined by out of the money put options, not, not called, put options. So out of the money. That means we're up here and they're buying down here. And as we get closer, they they start covering. Right? They, they, they have a gate. They're going to book it. That booking drops down the positions. You can see it here. It's not tradable. It's observation. It's made available an hour after the close. as one dot. There's no open, high, low, close. It's one dot. That's the closing for that value. If you go to weekly, you see as a uh, open, high, low, close. But the daily is a dot. Okay, now, this told me that we have an event coming. I told you guys we have an event here. And of course, the window here is usually uh, between one month or five weeks into about three months is a window. It takes time for it to really show. For example, you see what happened there. It was back to back to what happened here. I mean, we drop. That was telling us it's coming. Well, now that where it is now, it says most people have covered. Big boys. Most of them have covered. So... The chance of further down is not there. Now, had this been staying up here, let's say around 140 and higher, and stayed there, then uh, it would be alarming. Now, what, how do you read more about it? There is, if you log in on the a members page, uh, or even through archives, because ar there's an archive open, by the way. There's an archive. But it doesn't show the current pages. I think last four months, you, last four weeks, you don't see. But here we go. Uh, if you go to PMT Pro, We actually suggest to you the white paper to read on SQ for SIBO. Uh, uh, and also, this is a page from that that uh, snaps. This gives you a uh, uh, the risk of the two standard deviation and two standard deviation on the downside, okay, given what value you have. So if we're at 145, two standard deviations, you got 14%, but 3% to go to three standard deviation, okay, or for the SVX to, to, to arrive there. Well, we almost got four standard deviation here. Okay, so this is three and a half plus 3.7 on uh, Monday. Monday was an exceptional day. Um, anyhow, um, so long, long and short of it is, uh, I think some of the pressure is off for them. That's what SQ is telling me. Again, preponderance of evidence. Let's go to TD. TD, uh, this is for time. This page is really for time of digest. I want to know my SP2. I also want to know my three months spread. Just have to make sure we, you're up to date here because they change it, keeps rolling. And you, you gotta keep, you gotta take into account the uh, term structure of the, you know, the term structure of interest rate? That's term, term structure of volatility. Okay? And we hooked up here. Look at this is an hour, uh, 50, 30 minutes. We really hooked up here fast given the, the questions and those answers. Okay? Treasury yields. I posted this on Twitter uh, again today saying, listen, look, this is what happened since the presser. In the morning, we're down here. Yeah, since the presser start, well, since actually the communique came, it just jumped crazy. Of course, during the press conference, it was worse. Short term, overnight bank lending, uh, car loans, uh, uh, housing, and then long term uh, asset preservation, like uh, uh, something like a sky creepers in New York. You, you, you're really buying a long term. Uh, this is a lot. This is a. This is the yield that you they want to run uh, those assets on a very long term with a uh, 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 with the obligation to have a high payout. Let's say pension fund and so forth. So that's a thirty year. Uh, I would concentrate on these two. I think we're gonna have some problems on the five because of uh, subprime uh, car loan. That's gonna come and get us. Whereas on the subprime uh, 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 residential it got us in two thousand eight two thousand nine. It's, there's a lot of problem on the car loans that we'll see. I think part of it is from Obama years because they were trying to get people to buy cars and they looked the other way and, you know, it just continued. It's just bad. You can't buy employment like that for for Detroit with uh, this stuff. It's too late. We have to uh, pay the piper. So. All right. What else? Uh, we do post this for you guys, but that's more in doing the trade that you're in for the PM to see what levels we're looking at. And if you want to take an early exit, where you should concentrate on, okay? 
So we're going to put one out for tomorrow, most likely in the morning. I'll prepare most of it tonight, ready to go, because during the day I'm time bankrupt. Plus we have the system running tomorrow uh, for the NQ. So, uh, but it'll start somewhere up here. We'll see. We'll see how overnight things are, and then we go. Again, no quota. Would will not, somebody asked me, or a fine gentleman, uh, asset manager, how many trades do we get a month? No, no, no. Event driven. I will guarantee you, you get zero. Anything above that is, is a gravy. Why? Things have to line up. If they don't line up, we won't do it. We'll step back. Not interested to keep throwing trades at you. I want to give you winning trades. I mean, you, want, you want trades? Ask Tico. He can give you a trade, too. We want winning trades. Oh, by the way, last time he gave a crude signal. He said crude will drop for four points. He's on Twitter. You can go take a look at it. Guess how far he was off? Three cents. He was off three cents on a $4 move. It's a thousand barrel contract. Do the math. You do one of, one of these every five years, you don't have to work again. That's Admiral Tico. So, so we want to give you winning trades. So that's key. Let's go to another item we want to show you, which is uh, this chart. Uh, where did it go? Hold up. Where did it go? There, right here. I'm saying this one. Okay. Let's go see this. Now, this is another. Uh, oh, Jesus. These ads kill me. I just went to get a chair. Look what's happening to me. Okay. Yeah. Stop seeing this now. Not interested. Okay. Don't show me. Come on. Get get lost. There we go. Okay. This is uh, on stock charts. Symbol is uh, dollar sign, Sierra, Papa, X-ray, Alpha, 200 Romeo. Uh, it's end of the day, so it gets updated late in the night. So, for example, right now it's January 25th. Let's refresh that. 26, just came in. Okay. Lou Murray. Oh, now that's now this is a problem, guys. Look where we are. Where is the neutral zone? 55 to 45. We're almost at 45. Wow. If you look at our webinar last week that was posted on the YouTube, I talked about this. I said, this area is of concern. Look what it's doing. This is not good, guys. We may have, we may be going down. We may be, a, I may have to rethink my lung position. with time I just man. Even though we're oversold. Something is wrong out there. Go to your list of stocks. Get rid of your bow our names. The stock that uh, was a tip. The stock that uh, you're not comfortable about. The stock that uh, it's got a, um, uh, uh, um, you know, it's like, a, it's like, let's say it's just a small cap. The market cap is low. Uh, the questionable products that they're working on, who knows, it's going to be deliverable. Uh, because as we contract, the, the big boys will go to NDX and SPX top names, and they're going to dump their Bauer names. If you have one of the Bauer names they have, it's, uh, you, you, you don't know, but you're walking from a sleeve roller, chasing pennies. It's not good. It's not good. Now, I don't do that. I'm, I'm always in the individual stock options on the investment names or I'm in futures, which allows me to lose my bias, go home and sleep. Cover, go home. Boom. I have no bias coming in. Yes, I missed the overnight. Well, not necessarily. If, if I'm up and something is going on, the alerts will come on. I come in, I come in for a trade for an hour or two if there's an emergency. But generally speaking, I want to be up at night, so I don't have a, uh, a, a vested interest even at nighttime where I get no rest. Already as it is, I'm not getting enough rest. That's why I have psoriasis. Uh, anyhow, look at, the, look at those two lines. It's turned over. Uh, there's a cross there. Now, it's too close. It's too close because it could do vibrate, you know, os I'm saying oscillate back and forth uh, and do a whipsaw. But uh, the shape of it is good. Listen, if we don't harness this quickly, I think when you look at it, definitely a crash. Now, some friends have shown me some studies uh, that says uh, the low will be in March. That means we will be bleeding to February. It's possible. There's some time cycle thing that does that. Uh, at least it shows the peak now. It shows we have peaked now, the cycle. The cycle peak is here. So we should go back, clean, get, get a cleanser in, like Lysol. Uh, uh, yeah. No, 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 no. We were not issuing you any Lysol uh, IVs, no. Uh, but we, we, there's some cleansing is going to go on in the market. Get those out of the way, and then we can rebuild. Uh, on the upside, I, I can see us 5,500 this year, but not immediately. 
because now we're so oversold, the snapback is going to be massive. The issue is why. The issue always is what's the catalyst and why. And with that said, I'm more than happy to take your questions. Look, we're at 558, not bad. Any questions for me? Again, remember, uh, uh, these uh, seminars you signed up is is it moved to Thursdays, probably next issue, I mean, to Wednesdays, afternoons, or early evenings. We're going to do it uh, at least one more time uh, in February, and we're going to queue every, I mean, question everybody, get feedback, see how you guys like it. Uh, and a little bit easier on me on Monday, on, on Thursdays, too. Yeah, it's just, you get a lot of hustle. Get everything ready, plus post processing of the file, and then post it on YouTube. It's just too much. Um, but we, we appreciate that feedback there. Uh, and also, you don't need to sign up every time. You can always tell, tell us we can take you out. We can cancel you uh, if you don't want to. But uh, but once you sign up, it's there. And we just keep on adding new dates at the end of the uh, list. Right now, I think we have 17 uh, webinars scheduled. We're just capping, adding, new, uh, adding new ones at, as each one gets done and gets expired. We put new ones at the end. So this way, it's a little community. It's market making, and we go through that, and so on and so forth. Okay, yeah, do it. Okay, very good question, Luis. We were stopped out on the long on PMT, correct? Do we wait for the next signal before we do anything, or do we just stay flat? Yeah, well, that's what I do. You could do whatever you want, but part of a package, I will do that. That means I will update you. Like, like the little update I did today, saying, be alert. I want to do that. So what happened? Effectively, I did nothing after we got stopped out. Why? Too late to get shorted, and walls are too high, so I'm going to wait to get flushed out and get long, fresh down from the bottom so that we have a pressure up and we can kick it. I'm looking for launch pad mode blue. Okay, for that, we need to be precise at the entry. We can't be early or late. So I'm waiting for that to set up, and we'll be aggressive call spread. Why? So I want to make up for that too, that loss. Yeah. But that's what, what I go after, yeah. Well, you know, originally, the, listen, the trade before that was excellent. The trade before that, we killed it. But, you know, this is 80% of U.S. equities. It's not a joke. Okay, so that's, that's, and we did that. When things line up, we do very, very well. When we were wrong, we have a short stop, we got to get out. Now, I was a little bit uh, 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 promiscuous, or shall we say liberal, with my stop, because wall is too high. But even they took that out. So that tells me we're not done. We're, we're kind of done on the short side, but we're not really done, as you saw the proof of it today. So wait, I would say, yes, Monday was a hammer, okay? We had an inside day yesterday. You would think we go up. Well, ask your own power. Why do you have to open his mouth so much today? Huh. I mean, that was, that was just a, that was really pressure. So one second here. Let me go. Next question. By the way, I'll stay here as long as you have questions. All right. Okay. Question is, with a PMT long, is there a level below it which you should say, I have to issue it. Jason, I'm the captain, right? I'm, I'm the left seat in a 747. I do have first officer called Nancy, Airbus. I would look at her. We can talk. We can some charts. Uh, you know, she can make a suggestion or two, but at the end of the day, uh, I, I gotta make the call now. If I'm not sure, I'm not comfortable about making a call, so if one of these indicators are not lining up, or let's say not one, but let's say, okay, these are like uh, I don't know, eight or nine of them here, ten of them. Let's say two of them are neutral, five are bullish, and three are bearish. That's very tough. So what I try to do is like wait until a little lineup happens. One goes to the other side, you know, one. Cover walks over to the other side, so it tilts it next second. We're ready to go now. Even then, we will be very conservative and we'll have tight stop. It's just that because wall was too high, we had to open the stop a little bit. Uh, and also, remember, when I pull the trigger, it's going to a lot of people. I've got to pick the pairs and the expiration. I usually try to do uh, 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 three pl weeks plus. This one we did two weeks. Why? Because if we, we knew if it was wrong, we we're going to be wrong quick. Why do we pay too much? Because we're paying time. Okay? So, uh, 
uh, if the type goes that far out, uh, we're paying a premium. Why do you do that for? So you type it quick. As a matter of fact, I got to give that to Admiral. I said that, guys. He said, what are you doing February 11th to February 4th? So we paid a little bit, and it was tight. Not as tight as I usually do. A little bit wider because of what? Still, look at the selling we had. I guess it was massive. Listen, on the NQ, we had 600 points down. Back to back. Something else is wrong here, guys. So my issue now, if you're going to ask me, I mean, Jason, you're going to ask me what the next trade is? I'm going to tell you. You're going to get some Persian tea from a place called Sadaf.com, and you're going to go to Amazon, buy some Ruby, buy one of the Ruby books. Do what Tico does. Drink some tea and read some Ruby. That means uh, patience is a virtue. Right now, we're in a, we're in a shake. We're in a very tough shake. You want to be a little bit patient. For the Fargo war to slow down, to clear up, and make it better trades. It won't hurt you if you wait a day or two. That's my point. But thank you, Lou. Michael Becker, how do I access the chat room? That is the, what is it? I think we gave you a trial. Uh, how do we do that? That's a very good question. That is our chat room. We have only one chat room now. It's for the, our top product. It's five fifty a month, five fifty five, And if you want the system, it's 700 a month. It's a very, very top. You know, heavy duty stuff. It's here, and this is the results. This is a 10x project, by the way. 10x. The 14,000 you put in here was 143,000 in one year. A lot of hedge funds are looking at what we're doing. This is incredible software. It's called ORB, Open Range Bound uh, Breakout. And chance of respect. That's the only chance we have. When you get to a product like this, you can't run too many of them. Even the zooms we had to do the OTF. It's just audio. We just like alert this page or look at that. But really, the chat room is there. I can give you, I'll look at your profile, my, Michael. If we haven't given you a free trial, I'll be more happy to accept it to you. But it's trading NQ. I don't think you trade NQ, do you? Hey, anyway, you can send me an email. We can pri- discuss it privately. But uh, 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 the, the, uh, uh, I, I, uh, I'll be more happy to have you give you a flavor of a take a look at. What is this? No. No, no, no timing. No. Karthik, we will not comment like that. I don't care. It's going to be nice. Don't worry. Relax. You have had, listen, don't say that. You, there's been very good updates on the Karthik, on the OIB. You, 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 Karthik, wrong attitude. You're going to have losses. You're going to have a stop out. That's going to happen. If you want the high end, you're going to have to accept the shake. You can't have it either way. Don't be naive. Okay? That you're already making good money. Please, if you will, you will be continuing, or others wouldn't be. Now, don't look at it that way. Here's the thing. He's asking me about our second product, a second system. When it's ready, we'll give it to you. It's not there. I'm still testing what? Gamma ladder. So work is being done on it, but we're not ready. When we're ready, we'll tell you. Remember, you were, you were with me in August. I told you what? When it's ready, I'll give it to you. When you get it? November. So drink more tea. And read more roomy content. Okay, don't do this with me. I don't like that. Don't prompt me. I will tell you when it's ready. That's one of my rules. Okay. Please, when it's ready. What? You know how many financial engineers have messed up by turning people over to that was not ready. I don't want to do that to you or anybody. It's my name on the door. So when it's ready, we'll do it. Okay. Last time you're gonna ask me that question. Okay. That's one of my rules. Thank you, Gustavo. What would a daily close above 44 be a good reversal signal at SMP? Okay, let me take a look. Let me get you on your case, Karthik, but we have discussed this. Yeah, I just don't like certain things. And I do things my way only. So go listen to Frank Sinatra. I did it my way. That's Tico's favorite song. Come on. All right, now, 44.50. Okay, let me draw a line then, sir, because I want to be up front here. And uh, by the way, Karthik, I didn't get on your case because of you. I did because it's being recorded. I'm getting on case with other people too. So when they listen to the webinar, they understand I'm a hard ass. I'm in the trenches every day. Do you think I'm going to get pushed around? No, sorry. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on. And those who cannot deal with me, then that's tough. This maybe it's not for them. Okay, so 4450, you said? Oh, 4450. Oh, Murray, hold on. 4450, you mean, you mean here? Oh, Murray, you're killing me. Hold on. 4450 means nothing. What was the high? 4450 was the high there. No, nothing. means nothing. We were already, we were already at the test. Plus the 200 day. Nothing. Why? 
because we've been testing it. Yes, nothing. It's the issue really a good close above it. Let's say if we get uh, half a percent above it or something. Yeah. Reason why, Gustavo, let me be clear there. Uh, it's noise level. To be fair and honest, in my opinion, where I come from, that's we're given where we are, noise level. Now, and let's say by next Friday, when non-farm comes, okay? I mean, GDP and those, I think those are priced in. Uh, they're kind of look, uh, uh, look back. Yeah, they're looking in the rear view. Uh, well, let's say on the 4th, okay? We have a decent number. Of course, we have a preview on the 2nd from ADP. When that shows up, then yes. Then you got, you got something there. But right now, no. Also, I want to see this. May I make a suggestion? Before you look at SPX, I would go and take a look at what Russell is doing. Here's the reason. If Russell is not doing it, if Russell is not doing it, and uh, NDX is not doing it. If NDX is not doing it, SAP is not. So I would get my clue about what this is doing. I've always said what in these webinars? Let's go back from the, you know, back in 2007 when we started recording these. Take a look at this poster. There was not just on YouTube, but the poster of our educational webinars. See, some of our, we made the distribution a little bit easier for you guys. Hold on. So if you go here, there we go. Uh, educational webinars, right there. This one. If you go back down, a lot of uh, market uh, webinars. I mean, that's the only way we can communicate with people because of number of people. And it's going to be fair because that's what we recorded. So it protects you, protects me, you know, legally. Remember, I'm a newsletter writer. So I don't get full First Amendment rights that you have. I I cannot just give you advice and say, oh, sorry, it was bad, uh, uh, but I have First Amendment rights. I can say anything I want. No, I cannot. The, it's highly regulated financial industry, plus I've been recorded. Others have to be present. So that's why if you send me a request at night about a trade, I give it right back to you saying, ask me in the chat room. Ask me in the chat room. Other people have to be present. Uh, and uh, this way it's transparent is and either recorded or transcribed at least protects you protects me so uh, for me um um uh, if we get the let's say uh a, a good move between second and fourth of next week remember there's gonna be some buying here i think for month end window dressing we're oversold to me those are artificial let's get to the second and fourth of next week and russell is moving up yeah, then, then I think we have upside. Otherwise, my problem would be looking for the next shoe to drop to push the market down again. It could be Putin. We don't know. It could be Iran. It could be anything out there. It could be Xi. You know, all the nice guys. All the nice, you know, all, uh, what do you call it? dictators out there. It could be Xi. We don't know. Over China. Listen, they're after, you know what they're after? They're after 50 nano, nanometer technology that Taiwan Semiconductor has. Because the Chinese don't have that. And that's why we're trying to move that whole production into Arizona ourselves, to Phoenix. That TS, TSM is building a huge place next to Intel, Arizona. Now, why you say that? Because there's a lot of water needed for semiconductor work. Yes, they do. But that could be uh, uh, reclaimed. It's uh, indoor. So it's basically a pool, big pool that's indoor that they recycle. Yeah. They don't need uh, rivers. They just need uh, uh, some water, and then clean it and recycle it. So and they could do that in, even in Arizona. But they need to get what, what technologies are. Why Arizona? Well, by the way, there's what do you call it? Um, Hughes Aircraft. Technology wise, there's a lot of technology over there. That they were both Phoenix and Tucson. So that's where Phoenix Missile was built. Yeah. My my uncle used to uh, run the missile industries during the Shah regime uh, and in Iran. And of course, they were co-producing uh, Mavericks and Sparrows and Sidewinders. And, you know, he was here like six, every six months, every, every, every quarter he would come here. Those are the two areas you would go, Phoenix and Tucson, uh, with Hughes Aircraft. There's a lot of technology people there. It's a lot cheaper than California. But that's, that's the problem we could have with G, because they need that 15 nanometer. If I'm right, or maybe it's a 12 nanometer now. You know, don't quote me, but it is down there in terms of... Uh, 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 how thin these lines are, and uh, uh, of course, the more you get closer, the more heat you create. That's a cause different problem in, in semis, but uh, that's that. Next question Is there a long term loan SPX if broken? Look out below, Jason. Good question. Sure, let's take a look. I'd say for now, 
by the time we get there, probably 3,500. And you could see this. Uh, but if we're not in a war, I, I think that the, the, P, the PE will attract. And, and you know, uh, scavengers will come in. Bottom hunters, uh, bottom fisher, f feeders will come in fishing down there. Uh, but I'd say 3,500. Yeah. It's not bad. I mean, I've heard of 3,300 3, also. Uh, one well, of my guys with the cycles was talking about 3,300. Uh, but I think the problem is this. Most money managers, if they didn't sell when the, uh, the cross happened, hold on, the death cross, hold on. You would have some explaining to do like this. Hold on. Uh, okay, this. This is, a, this is a death cross, okay? If you didn't sell at that point, of course, it's a little bit too late. But you, you probably didn't see it coming because this was so fast. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't think those people who didn't who sold here did not sell there. They weren't following Admiral Tico because that's where he went short on 12th of October or February of last year. So, but that has to do with our conversation with CDC. But this happened so fast. Look how it comes back and slow. This is a birth cost, I call it. This is everybody talks about death cost. This is a birth 50 and 20. Uh, if you were in the war, I'm sorry. Yeah, if we're not in the war, the bottom fish will come in. Now, if you're a money manager and you were, let's say, junior portfolio manager, just joined the firm, you did nothing about that, they're going to call you in. That's probably the last quarter you're with them. Why didn't you sell? So if we get to that point, it's going to be avalanche of selling. Does that make sense, Jason? So that it could feed itself, okay? Uh, it's like a jobs. Jobs creates jobs. Uh, uh, selling begets selling. Uh, look at today. Look at what happened uh, with the presser. Uh, the one thing led to another, and just everybody wants to throw out the baby with bathwater. DVC capitulation. I got to look at some volume data. I got to see some volume data. Um, I would like to think yes. Uh, here's the spy. Let's take a look at the spy here. Okay, I'm running a spy on our scanner for uh, options. Uh, that's because last night I was giving a lesson late at night with a couple of my cousins. I don't know how. I don't know how come I have so many cousins. <laughs> I don't know I have so many cousins. The moment I start making a few bucks, all these cousins come out of the woodwork. Hold on. I'm sure that's happened to some of you guys too. Uh, was Monday capitulation? Probably. I don't see a separation here yet. That's what we deal with uh, in the chat room, this technology. Uh, probably. I just, the events of today, it erased all my confidence. I'm just being upfront with you. This is the weekly chart. We almost went to negative three sigma that day on the weekly. On the weekly. Not a joke. Now, it's not SPX, it's SPY. Let's put SPX here. Hold on. Why? That's not manipulable. It's too big to manipulate. You know, you can't buy a share of it. Okay. Yeah, they got close, but not there. Yeah. So, uh, but I would say around 3,500, you get, you get get into trouble. That could sink us to 3,000. I remember down here. I remember. Uh, I remember, actually. Uh, let's go here. Hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. I remember. I remember at one point. Uh, um. I remember at one point here, it was uh, March 15th, 16th. I don't know what day it was. It was a Monday. We dropped like 3,000 points. Okay. Now, I had just gone short that morning. And I come in Friday long. I was long two days, one day short. And uh, I, I checked with, uh, here we go right here, with uh, Time and Digest. I said, listen, balls are very high. These changes are huge. We're News driven. Hold on, let me get more data in there. We need more. See that that means no more data is needed. One second. There we go. Go to three. There we go. Okay. Now, come on. There we go. Okay. Now. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, you see what the moves were. You know when it does this, I gotta capture it. I got. I got to. It's a challenge. So like this. For like this, for example. Is this a 15, 16? Let me see. That's an 11? Yes. Yes. You see that? And then we went to 50. That's it. Is that 15, 16? Yeah. There's a period here that it was, these were 3,000 points on the Dow in one day. And I would switch. 
I would tell people, no options. I'm just driving the SPY. I'm just driving the cash only. I, I check it with Time and Digest. It goes, well, sorry. What do you want me to tell you? You're rank one. You know, you run this show. You want to do it that way, do it that way. If people don't like it, they'll complain. And I told people in my writer, I would say, guys, don't trade the option. We're going to trade the cash. Okay? Remember, 3,000 points. Okay, let's do the math. 3,000 points on a Dow is uh, 30 handles on, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's, uh, uh, in a spy. It's not a joke. Right? 30 handles on a spy, yeah. Because 300 points on S&P. The SASF is moving 300 points. Dow is 3,000. SPY is 30. You can't make money with 30 points on a spy without going by the vol? Yeah. Oh, yeah. People, my, my group made very, very well. We stick to the rules inside the channels. You see how it's moving? Inside the, well, minus one, minus two. And separation from the negative three. The moment we start separating, I knew that we're near the bottom. Now, uh, uh, but this begets uh, more selling. It was wild. Um, and the part of it was the, 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 I would look at the SP2, see the ratings work, and before it snapped back up, I would go to the other side. And then it would go too fast up. I would, I mean, a couple of times I went long, a couple of times only. But the rest of the time we were short. It's just when I get excessively uh, sold out, I couldn't stay short. I said, let me go one day long or two days long. I would say so, guys. Our goal is to be one or two days long. Okay? And then we reverse back. And it continued. But this was timing of uh, uh, cycles, time cycles. This was uh, March equinox. Okay? This is Persian New Year. First of the spring. That's a Friday. Look at the reversal. We said... It's going to happen. On that. It's on the videos. You can go and watch it. The video said, listen, it's going to be a March equinox. Looking for the low. We went lower, but that was a Monday, intraday. In between, we hit 18086, which was on the Dow, on YM. On a Sunday night, so on 22nd, it was YM hit. The low was 18086 on a June contract, YM June contract. And one of my targets were 18,000. That's the day. Trump was, Trump was elected. My attitude was that the big hedge funds, the, ma the masters of the universe, will teach him a lesson. They're going to take him down there, slap him, and say, enough of this chaos. This country is ours. We pay the taxes. This country is ours. What are you doing here? We're going to teach you a lesson. They did. Once it hit that, now, the following day, I'm sorry, this day, this day, end of that day, Powell came and gave a, uh, a paper. I, want, I need to go back on it. I read about it on that. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, fire, uh, front, front line, on front line. Uh, and I want to go and find that. I haven't. I just haven't had time. This is like, uh, I, I recently played the fire front line. I recorded on TiVo. Even though it's old, it's like six months old. I recently saw it one more time. And there's a lot going on in the front line. But there's a little piece about what happened that day. That was the impetus. Now, you ask me, are they believing Spring Equinox or not? Listen, my work shows, and I've called it in real time, not in the history, but real time. March Equinox and Fall Equinox you need to pay attention to. So it's Spring Equinox and Fall Equinox, March 21st and September 21st. Why? The alignment of uh, moon, earth, and sun. That creates the change of season, also changes your mentality, and people get a little bit wild. That, that's where the reversals come. Our job is to take advantage of it. Now, I'm not Arch Crawford. I'm not doing Uranus and this and that and that. You know, Neptune is that. I don't believe any of that horse shit. My attitude is right here. When I look at this data, you got my numbers and so forth. They make sense. I go, do I have to be exactly right? No, 70% would do. And the rest of it is money management. That's how you become time of the decade. Use some money management and, and, and some charts that have worked for you. Don't go esoteric in stuff you haven't done. So... Will I be sending a note out to you, everybody, saying, hey, guys, we're at that near level? You betcha. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Will it be always right? No. I'm a human being. I'm going to make mistakes. But remember, my mistakes are going to be small and wins are going to be big. How? That's how you survive. There's no other way you can survive in the market. Small losses, big wins. Is that clear? Is that good? Any other questions? Hey, Karthik, you didn't even get on your case, but you know me. I'm, I'm very... I'm very stubborn. I work for the chief designer of a B2 bomber. 
Okay, I provide your defense. Remember that? Remember Jack Nicholas in Few Good Men? I provide your defense. That means you gotta be a hard ass to survive that environment. Both between the F-18 and B-2, those are our front lines. And I thank Northrop for what they've done for this country. Yeah. So anyhow, but I'm serious. I will get a system to you. I will get a system that works. And you'll be happy. But it's not going to be on your schedule. It's not going to be on your calendar. Because we, it's not going to be my calendar either. We have to observe it. We have to. You're going to see it. First of all, you're going to see a trial of it. Right? Right? You know, I did that on the first system. You're going to see it on the second one. So if I didn't show up there, that means, what do I have? Do I have a deadline? Not yet. So please, bear with me. Once we know we're a little closer, we'll have it. And you will see, you'll be part of it. You will have feedback before it gets to a full-blown system. Okay? Now, what are we doing with the bots? We're using what's called gamma ladder. That is a key built into what those two lines do, the DMZ. It's a part of our wireframe testing. Okay? It's like a, uh, like a wooden mock-up. In the old days, when they built a wooden mock-up aircraft to see how the systems go, where the sizes are, what kind of armament you're going to have, make a guess of how much fuel you can have on board based on actually building a, a, a rough drawing. Now they do it on computers. We're doing that with a distance. It's a bot. It's a, it's a, is it here? Hold on. Hold on, Murray. Let's see we have it here. Karthik, I'm going to send you an invoice. I'm telling you. But, by the way, guys, this guy is very smart. He worked for Stevie Cohen. I, I re really like him. I respect him. He's a very smart cookie. But it's very high maintenance. Oh, my God. This guy is more high maintenance. This is Karthik. He's more high maintenance than any other tall blondes I know down here. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Where is it? It's a bot, right? Oh, tra trading apps. Where is it? No. Where's my trading apps? Huh? It was just here. Bar, sales, trade manager. Huh? Hold on. View. Oh, there we go. Trade app launcher. That's it. All right. And what do we have here? There should be one here. This is a high gamma. There we go. Boom. I don't know what version it is. Test 6 2, maybe there's an update we have. What this is, is... Uh, and if you guys that don't have uh, haven't signed the NDA, close your eyes. Hold up, let me close that out. Okay, there we go. Now, this baby, yeah, this is an old one. This is one after I see the problem that we. This is one before last. Yeah, this one before last. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shoot, one second. Let me get that fixed. Hold on, Jack. Hold on. Um. Hold on. Where is this damn thing? Hold on one second. TMC. Okay, there we go. Yep, there we go. Let me import that. Now I'm importing a fresh one over it because that's that's embarrassing. That was a graphic issue, but okay, it's done. All right, so let me uh, close this. Do it again. Yeah. Let me go to view, trade app launcher. And now I'm going to use this one, the new one, not that one, because that, that be, it should be called the same thing, but that says gamble launcher. That's how it comes in here. Yeah. Okay, let it, okay, it starts. Okay, now you see it. That's a bear. It's a bear graphics there. Also, this thing is a monster. You load your position. You give it a high and low you want to go. What orders you want to add. And then what's the delta for the entries and exits. So you check that. It gives you a preview what orders are going to be based on what you did. And you place the order. It sends it into the whatever account you give it to. What symbol you want and this. Now, he's testing that through a SIM, my programmer. So if there's an alias, because I have multiple accounts, I need to have aliases. So I create, these are these for different program, different accounts. So it launches into those accounts, these orders on a dome. Okay? And it also does the, what do you call it? Uh, it does your uh, uh, trail. It's, it has an automatic trail. As you load this, this is a very high gamma trade. It's a very uh, Momo trade. That's why we use DM, uh, uh, MB, uh, what called, DMZ. When it goes to ramp up on the DMZ up, let's see here, for example. Let me see. No, I'm proud of this. This is a major work, guys. You have no idea what we put into this to get here. Hold on. Is that the one? Um, yeah, hold on. No, that or, not the ORB. Hold on. Look into options. Oh, close this. Sorry. Open this. Okay. Now, hold on. Let's, do, let's go and put NQ H22, okay? And then we're going to go in there. Forget this daily. I'm not going to do that. Let's do it three minutes on this. 
Okay, this is what happened today. Okay. This is the one that Cos is asking about. He wants his system for this to be ready. Do you see this? When this thing breaks, but this is not. This is a uh, two o'clock. We even look at it early in the day when it breaks breaks out and up and runs. This is not a small chump change, guys. Now, especially if you add to the winner. What does this thing do? What this thing do is uh, this enters on buy stops. You see, it's that buy stop. It buys on buy stop. So it doesn't allow you to get semi-pregnant. It won't add to your position until it gets there. And then it trails it. The moment it peaks, it trails it. So you can say, hey, I only want to give 25% back. Okay. And then, so you don't lose. The beauty of this is that you have no losers. You know what happens to your training if you have no losers? Have you done the math? Do you want me to have Tico come in and explain you the math? Okay, yeah, this is this is a major work. Now, Karthik wants me to release the system without we not finish on that. Karthik, we're gonna get there. What's the rush? You're having fun. You're making good money. Relax. Now, you're gonna have some losses. You're always gonna have some losses. Give me a trade who doesn't have losses. But they have to be controlled and they have to be reasonable. Okay? If you go back to the system there, Jason, I see your question. I'm going to get to it. If you go there and take a look at, if you follow the rules, okay, follow the rules and take a look at here. This is all the losses they have by month. Okay, here's your Q. I'm sorry, here's your Q. You never went negative. There were a couple of shakes, of course. Remember, there's not optimized yet. Optimization is 4.2. Captain, excuse me, I'm a general. What do you mean, captain? What is that? At least I owe, you owe me a court martial. But I'm into due process. Are you, are you with Putin? What do you mean? Come on, I, they always call me General Hamsey. All of a sudden, I'm a captain? If you want to demote me, at least give me a court martial. I have a couple of jacks who will represent me. Hold on. Jack guys are generals, yeah. If you're a new member to UMT and still long me, is there a level to respect? Uh, no. Wait a second. If you're a PMT, you were stopped out. First of all, you cannot come to a trade that is a, uh, not is a stale. You go into a trade that we emailed you. Okay? That means live. We, we, we discussed that. 30 minutes to get into the option. Yeah. So if you were in SPX, you were stopped out. Is there a major trading? Support that could be breached if that. No, we don't go that far. We don't do that long term. No. Remember, we're we're leveraged guys, right? We're using options and futures. We don't do cash. So we're pretty much uh, into focused in the uh, environment we're in. We we, we look at for for example, uh, I think our longest hold has been six weeks, seven weeks. Uh, our average is eight, 18 days, so 18 calendar days. What we try. No, 18 trading days. I'm sorry, 18 trading. What we go after is what's going to happen to us on, on PMT? What's going to happen to us within a month? That's it. Yeah, we don't go beyond that. I don't think the volatility data would show you anything different. Remember, we look at volatility a lot. Yeah, a lot. Especially like Admiral. And I confer on uh, current volatility. Am I, I'm saying market implied versus historical. We do a lot of that. By name, by uh, ETF, what have you. Uh, but uh, with uh, 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 now with futures, we do like every half an hour, no, no more than that because we, we're active and we'll go flat. Uh, with uh, PMT, we're trying to basically capture anomalies long and short. We're not always long, uh, and there sometimes we're flat. If you but no, we keep track of our positions in an Excel sheet right after we send it to uh. To uh, uh, let me see here. Here, here's here's that Excel sheet is created. Hold on, and kept up. Well, hold on one second. There we go. So I'm trying to bring it over. There we go. This Excel sheet goes back. Hold on, all the way up to. This goes to five years ago when we switched, or 2015, I believe, when we switched to our new set of indicators. And I was I I'd not, I'd neglected the product for a while. Because I was so busy with OTF. Once OTF was in shape, I went came back to this. Just like we're doing now. We spent some time on the 
uh, 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 other trading system. OTF is not a trading system. Uh, OTF is a uh, other time frame. It's built. It follows the whales. See what the whales are doing. Because the mom and pop don't move the market. You and I cannot move the market. We're too small. It's the whales. We follow the whales. We use that. Once we change that software, in, I start going back here and we made a declaration early December or mid December. I think it was early December of 2014, saying January 1st. There's a new sheriff in town. And we printed uh, about 120 playing cards, just like uh, George W. did for Saddam uh, 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 entourage, saying uh, all the market timing. We said we're going to go after every single one of these son of a bitches, and we're going to kill them. Uh, and who are they? Well, if you go to the parks page, you see it here. These guys. These guys. We had a name of each guy on the card. We said every single one, we're going to destroy them. We, we as, as Patton gave his talk to his uh, uh, third army at the Ciso Baston, says we're going to come victorious and they can't even breathe. They will know what happened to them. Well, that was uh, uh, about this time, five years ago. Yeah, a little bit more than that, maybe. So between these two events, okay, and look what we did. Now, how do we achieve that? And then we keep track of it. All the long and shorts, all of our gains versus SMP. And we had some losses. We had a lot of gains. It goes on, goes on. Not, and then you keep track of this pressure. Then I had a car accident. I lost my car completely, brand new car. And uh, uh, nice jack, just total. And Tico spent seven hours in the hospital. I came back and I said, revenge time. This is what happened here. I was so ahead. This is SMP, this is us. And this is that Delta we're watching, which we post up here, okay? Now, this is what happened. I just went nuts. I would not take a, a pain medicine. And they'd tell me, you need Oxycontin, this and that. I said, no, you're not putting me on that. My dad will disown me in, his, in heavens. Not going to happen. So I had very bad sleeping, very problem. Then March Equinox 2018, I was in L.A. at actually mountains of uh, Ojai. I got my signal on a laptop with no, with no transmission, okay, in the mountains. I said, we're going to make a call. We're going to make a call. Send it in. This is history. And then this is, uh, nine, this is, this is uh, March. This is May, I'm sorry, January, uh, February 12, 2020, where Admiral Tico gave the signal to me. We have to, Daddy, we have to sell them. Daddy, we have to sell them. I said, okay, let's sell them. And then you see the V bottom, and that was it. Between these two, and uh, this is 2018, by the way. See what happened there? We, the, the, the SQ gave us a signal. We went from uh, like end of August. We gave the signal. Mid-August, we got the signal. It said six weeks forward. October 1st, we went short. And we were short for 90 days. Now, a couple of bumps along the road, but we still went down there. Look what we did. All the way up. That separated us, and then this. Between these two events, just killed everybody. Just completely killed. Now, that I've sent some people ask questions. I sent them a copy. Okay, so go to look at it. Go, go then contact trade station. It says, Tom and Dutchess have a copy of my email. They have to keep it in email. This year. And everybody shut up. But the question, like, how could they do that? So I thought, I don't know. I don't keep the data. I just have the data because I want to make sure they have done their work right. But uh, then they get a copy. And they, uh, sometimes I had gaps there. Like I forgot to post something. And they send me a copy of my email just to make sure. Or I've sent them a copy. Said, do you see everything right? Am I missing anything? So far, we haven't. Once a year, I send my list to them. To make sure, have I missing anything? They haven't anything, but I, but, but I've missed, I've missed uh, 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 one trade. I missed. They caught it, and we put it in. Actually, it was my favorite, but I missed it. So we keep track of it that way, and then we update it. If you go to the PMT, or either you're trying to sign up, or you try to use it as a member, this is up to date. This is like 2 p.m. I think I do up to it after the close. No, no, it was 2 p.m. Yeah, it shows where we are. We are still holding up where this thing dropped like that. So, anyhow, it is what it is. It's a, it's a fun way. I always wanted to have a financial laboratory. I've built it. I'm happy. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, uh, it's multifaceted and it allows me to be flexible. You can't be only trading options, you can't be trading on only futures. There are give and takes. Ideal player will have his hands in both. The problem is to excel in both is not easy, it takes time. My journey took me 20 years. Average person out there doesn't have 20 years. But my mom said, it's uh, if it's not 
if it's not your passion, then it's work. Does that make sense? If it's not your passion, then you're working. It's work. This is not work. This is fun. Yeah. Plus, I'm getting paid for it handsomely. So, in two ways: the website and also the the the, the fund, the TCM, Tico Capital Management LLC. So, yeah, the fund in his name. Chairman of the board is Admiral Tico. Admiral, you ready to go for dinner? You want din din? I think Admiral wants din din. Any question? For me, guys, we got to go. He's hungry. And you want you don't want to keep an animal hungry, uh, uh, waiting or upset. You have no idea. Hey, Dennis, no problem. Thanks for attending. Appreciate that. By the way, thanks for all your help uh, Saturday. I appreciate that. Uh, I, I needed that help, and thank you. Um, anybody else, guys? Questions for me? Karthik, uh, uh, didn't mean to get on your case again. But you got to give me some slack. Okay? Uh, uh, Jason, it was a pleasure chatting with you yesterday also. Chatting, uh, it was my honor to see you here today, and we'll keep moving forward. Uh, again, don't sit in the position too long. If we have a signal, we have a signal. you got to do. Now, if you want to not take a trade, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But the trade has to be fresh. Okay? If, you log in, if you're on the vacation, you come back, you saw some email, you forgot you want vacation, you come back, open and see a trade, Oh, you want to get it? No, no, no. You get half an hour to get in that trade. Yeah. An hour maybe tops. Why? Your delta and your theta is going to change dramatically. Not to mention your role, which is your volatility. So don't get in there. Because you're going to have a way different result than we do. And you're not going to be happy. And I have to go in there, dig in and find out what happens. So, uh, Have we had two trades in a week? We have. Uh, one of them sometimes was an error, was a replacement. Last week was different. Last week was an absolute error. We found it the same day. So we said next day we'd launch. But no, but we've had a couple of times we had a trade like long in the Monday and Thursday we went short. Why? Market really changed. Market changed. So that's rare. But typically our hold is, uh, I think, 18 uh, 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 calendar days. Yeah. Uh, but that's average. So that's why. When we pick our option trade, it's somewhere around three weeks. Okay, this week we cut back because it turned out because the volume is too high. So you have to compensate for that by shortening the duration. Again, not my idea, Admiral, Admiral Esposito, come to me and said, "I see this trade, but I think you should do this." And here's the reason: I start writing it by hand. I mean, when he talks, I usually take notes. He's that good, so I said, "Fine." And there you have it. Guys, I'm getting out of here. Anything else, guys? Again, remember, these are going to be get posted, and they'll be on uh, YouTube later on tonight. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for attending. Good night, all. See you. Thanks, Greg. Glad to see you here. Thanks for showing up. Again, you guys will get automatic reminders every every week for Wednesdays. And maybe we'll keep it on Wednesdays. We'll see. After the next week, I'll do a survey. Have you guys give me a feedback, okay? Our job is to make it easy on everybody because if it's easy for you, it's easy on me. And I'm time bankrupt. See you guys. Good night.